Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to this week's Technique of the Week. Today I'm on this side of the camera and I'm going to be filming Ike, which Ike is the one that does all of our video. When you see Technique of the Week, when you see all the stuff that the Decocrete does, Ike's the one that does all that stuff. Uh, he's a very talented young guy. Uh, we're lucky to have him and uh, he's going to be with us the next couple weeks here talking about pictures and doing video cameras and work and things because we see so many guys take pictures uh, of things and it's, they're not very good and they're not really usable. So he's just gonna give you a couple tips to make your jobs look good. All right. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to Technique of the Week. My name is Ike, the guy who's on the other side of the camera. I do all the shooting, editing, and publishing for Technique of the Week, as well as uh, loads of other stuff at DecoCrete. I'm here today in our uh, in-progress studio. It's 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 done enough for me to get a good looking shot here, but as you can tell, it's not completely finished. For the next few weeks, I will be giving you tips on how to take better decorative concrete pictures and then how to use those pictures to market your work. For today's episode, we're gonna be focusing on hardware and composition, just the simple basics, some easy things that you can start applying right away. If you have a smartphone, you already have a great camera to take pictures with. Even the original Androids when they first came out had amazing cameras compared to other phones. An easy way to get more out of your camera phone is to just look at its settings. A lot of times there'll be different settings for different resolutions and you can simply set your camera to take higher resolution pictures that will look better. You can also experiment with the different features your phone camera might have, especially newer ones that offer different lenses or different cameras altogether within one phone. You can get close-up shots, wide-angle shots, or even panorama shots. Some other hardware that could be useful to you marketing decorative concrete pictures would be GoPros or drones. GoPros are great to set up over a long workday and get an amazing time lapse of what your crew is able to do. Drones are unique because you can get awesome aerial shots and top-down views that would not be possible with anything other than a chopper. These hardware investments can really take your concrete photography to the next level, but they are not cheap. Moving on, we're going to talk about photography composition. A photo's composition basically means what is in the picture. So before you go taking the picture, just have a look around. Is there trash or other job site leftovers in the view of the camera? Does the concrete need washed or cleaned up? Is the patio furniture clean and in its correct place? Is the landscaping in order? Finished projects always look more impressive once the landscaping is done and grown in. Looking out for these things and cleaning them up can make your picture look that much more impressive and it will sell your work much better. If you're taking pictures with your phone, do not take pictures in portrait orientation. Always go for landscape orientation. Think about what you're taking a picture of. If you're in portrait mode, the top half of your picture is going to be the sky and the bottom is going to be the grass in front of you. If you're in landscape, you're going to have most of the concrete patio or wh whatever it is you have. Other than a few applications like maybe Instagram stories, landscape orientation is always going to look better for your viewing audience. Here are three different types of shots I usually take on every concrete patio. First is the wide shot. This is the simplest of them all. I try to include everything in this photo, from one side of the patio to the other, landscaping and structures included. Just back up enough to fit everything in frame. Since your subject is on the ground, getting some height will showcase it much better. Next is the pattern shot. For this shot, I try to position the camera directly straight down onto the stamp pattern. I will try to get the border in frame too if there is one. This shot will showcase the detail in the stamp pattern as well as the colors used. This shot will be close up if you are holding the camera, but a camera drone can take an awesome top-down angle high in the air. Lastly, the showcase shot. This shot will definitely put some more of your composition skills to the test. If a patio has a unique feature like steps, lights, fire pits, or water features, I like to get some shots that showcase that feature in relation to the rest of the patio. These shots use the rule of thirds to position key features in an eye-catching way while still showing the majority of the project. The rule of thirds is a composition method that helps your shots be more pleasing to the eye. If you look at how I have this shot set up here, I try to have my eyes and my face on the top third and the subject in the media I'm talking about on the right third. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Next week we're going to dive deeper into composition and lighting. Have a great weekend. I'm going back down in the air conditioning.